Yo, yo, people, how are you all getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios, and welcome back to yet another video. Don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout the video. So, the sound bar that you were just listening to was the Tapio V or the Tapio 5. It's by a company called Ultimia. With that being said, let's go and roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome back. So as you saw in the intro, we are going to be looking at a soundbar today, the Tapio V by Ultimia. Now, as we all know that home entertainment, especially sound, is becoming bigger and bigger. There's, there's probably not many households that haven't got some kind of home cinema system or a soundbar installed in the house. That being said, let's go and do the unboxing for the Tapio V. So as you can see, the Ultimia Tapio V, the 2.1 channel soundbar, comes in this very large box. And to save time unboxing everything in front of you, I'm going to display everything on the table. As you can see that the soundbar itself comes in two parts. It has a twist and turn mechanism to put it together. And you also get a four inch subwoofer. You also get a remote control. You get this audio cable to put between the two soundbars. You get a optical cable. You also get this red and white audio cable with the 3.5 millimeter port on the other end. End. You also get some screws should you wish to wall mount the soundbar. Finally, you get this user manual. Let's start putting the soundbar together. So as already explained, the soundbar comes in two pieces which need to be joined and they're joined by this twist and turn mechanism. You align both parts of the soundbar up, you push in and turn and it's simple as that. So on the back of the soundbar is where you're going to find all the connections. Let's go and have a quick look at that. So as you can see from left to right, on the left hand side, you find the auxiliary input and next to that, you'll find the optical input that's for connecting it directly with your TV, which I highly recommend. Besides that, you're going to find the DC 18 volt in jack. And besides that, you're going to find the subwoofer jack out. Now, in terms of the subwoofer, it comes with an attached cable, which you plug into the sub out port. You also get this link cable to put at the rear of both sound bars. So just looking on the right side of the sound bar from top to bottom, firstly, you're going to find the power on and off button, which also acts as the mode button. Below that, you're going to find the play and pause button. And below that, you'll find the next song or volume plus button. And below that, you'll find the volume minus button, which also acts as the previous song button. And to the right of those buttons on top, you're going to find the USB input. And also you get a TF card input. The LED indicator at the front highlights the different modes. BT indicates Bluetooth mode. OP PT indicates the optical input, AUH indicates the auxiliary input, and USB is obviously the USB input. You also get a remote control with the sound bar. Let's go and have a quick look at that. On the top, you're going to find the power on and off button. Just below that, you'll find the mode button, and that's to select whether you're going to be in Bluetooth, optical, auxiliary, or USB mode. And besides that, on the right, you're going to find the mute on and off. And also, you get this circular dials. You get the plus and minus volumes on the top and bottom. On the left and right, you're going to get the previous song and the next song. In the middle of that, you'll find the play and pause button. And below that, you'll get some EQ settings. And just below that, you're going to find the news button, and that's for talk shows, interviews, news, and to hear clear dialogue. To the right of that, you're going to find the game button. That's for playing and watching games. And right at the bottom of the remote control, you find the LED off, should that be distracting for you. A quick press to put it on and a quick press to put it off. I'm going to be using the Bluetooth mode. So let me quickly go and show you how to connect that up. And let's go and do all the sound checking. So once you switch the soundbar on, hit the mode button and go up to the BT and you'll see that flashing. In my case, I'm going to be using my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm going to go into my iPhone settings, Bluetooth mode, and it's going to do a search. And once it's connected, it'll say Tapio V connected. So you can go into your iTunes and play music straight from there. a different song.
I seriously enjoyed those sound tests and I hope you did too. Now that you've had a chance to see the unboxing, the features that the soundbar provides and the sound test, let me go and give you my final thoughts. As well, the audio coming from the soundbar as well as the subwoofer was a lot better than what my actual TV was able to provide. The soundbar does come with four very powerful speakers with hi-fi quality sound and it also gives you a lot louder volume than what your TV would. And I did like the fact that it gives you these different EQ modes such as the music, movies, games, news and also a bass enhancer should you need it. In terms of the build quality of the soundbar, I've got absolutely no complaints. You've got this metal mesh grill at the front hiding the four powerful speakers on the the rear of it and I do seriously like the black shiny finish that the whole soundbar comes with however it is prone to dust but nothing a dust cloth wouldn't remove and having the ability to turn on and off that LED display should it distract you is another great bonus and also having the subwoofer wired only ensures the stable connectivity so just looking at some of the specs of the soundbar so the drivers on the soundbar provide a 100 watt power the 4 inch subwoofer does deliver 50 hertz ultra bass and the whole frequency response is 50 hertz to 15,000 kilohertz you get a two-year parts and labor warranty and finally do I recommend this to you absolutely yes simply because the sound quality coming out of the soundbar and the subwoofer was a lot lot better than what my tv sounds so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any questions about the soundbar drop me in the comments below and I shall get back to you so if you're looking for a budget-friendly amazing sounding soundbar with a subwoofer then you may want to check the Tapio V and I will leave the links in the description below should you wish to go and check that out so anyway that's all you're going to get from me for today so hit that like button if you like the video or smash it if that's something you're into subscribe if you aren't already and i shall see you in the next video